Welcome back to Team APS, and today we have the Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel GX Midterm Destruction Box. So just like the other expansion Speed Duel boxes, there are four different decks for four characters. They each come with their unique monsters, but also unique skill cards that you can use in the Speed Duel format. Remember guys, this is Speed Duels, not normal format duels. That means there are only three monster zones, three spell and trap zones. It makes for a faster duel, but with an anime twist. I know this product has been on shelves for a few months now. Well, unless you're in Europe, because then you don't get it at all. But for the rest of us, it's been on shelves for a few months, and we're going to give you a reason to try it out. So like I said before, there are four decks in here. Paul and I are gonna take two each and we're gonna play best two out of three. When you win a round, you must switch your deck so that way you get to see all of our decks in rotation. So without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, let's pop this bad boy open. Check out Jaden and Sartori's himself on the top. I gotta say, these are like the best designed. Uh, I still all these looks. That's true. You get characters on the front you get the monsters on all the sides. So you kind of, if you're a, fa a fan of GX, you really know what you're in for. All right, to the side. All right. Let me see what these secret rares are. I know uh, some of these will be cards, and I think they should, uh, some of the, I think it's a set of 20 cards, but you only get four in a box. Some of these are cards that don't even have secret rare printing, so th this part's always a lot of fun. We have Mystical Space Typhoon, secret rare with that special Ooh, Speed nice. Duel foiling and watermark. We have Arcana Force X, the Light Ruler. I don't know if this has ever been secret before. Baby Sarasaurus, secret rare. And Card Trooper, for all, for all you Edison enthusiasts. All right, let's get to our decks, or at least the, the packs is, are gonna make up our decks. It's so funny that Dandelion, Dandelion is a GX card, but we really didn't use it until we got Synchros. Air Spation Air Hummingbird, Aqua Dolphin, Dark Panther, Glow Moss. So there, Air Hummingbird is in here. So does that mean Air Neos is in here? An Animadorn Archosaur, wow, that's a card. Baby Sarasaurus, Black Velocity, Tyranno Infinity, Destroyosaurus, Dynabase. You know what? Yeah, there was that machine, Dino Fusion. I guess that's in here. Uh, Dark Triceratops, Gilosaurus, Big Evolution Pill, Tail, Tail Swipe, Fossil Dig, Jurassic World, Space Time Transcendence. That's cool artwork. Arcana Force, Double X, or I guess that's 21. The world. We're coin flipping, y'all. Arcana Force Zero, Arcana Force One, Arcana Force Three, Arcana Force Four, Arcana Force Six, Arcana Force Seven. Was there no five? Huh, okay. Seven, and then Arcana Force 14? Okay. We have Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant, so this is gonna be the fossil deck. Even though fossils are mostly like dinosaurs in real life, or but in this game, they're all just rocks. So Gaia Plate, Fossil Dyna, Apache Cephalo, Flint Cragger, Mega Rock Dragon, Shell Knight, Weathering Soldier, Revival Golem, Big Tusk the Mammoth, Full Fossil Tusker, Medusa Worm. Then we have Time Stream, Pot of Avarice, Refusion, Mystical Space Safoon, Foolish Burial. Well, that's weird. So Fossil Fusion's not in here. That's interesting, because, huh. All right, but they put Time Stream in, that's all right. And the skills. These look really cool, but I think it's best to leave these as a surprise for the duel itself. At the start of the duel, I will flip this card over. Okay, I don't flip mine over until I activate it, so. I flip straight out of Neo space. So, is that like a play on straight out of Compton? I think so. Okay. I so. so if you control a monster, and if only you control a monster, I can special summon a Neos from my hand. And then I'm locked out of summoning anything other than heroes or Neos for the rest of the turn. And then during the end phase, if a fusion monster I control is returned to the extra deck, I can special summon one uh, Neos from my deck. Oh, that's but actually really good. That nice works skill. with the whole Neos Spatian thing, because at the end of the, at the end phase they return to the extra deck, so and then you lose. Swapping, but yeah. So but now you get a Neos. <laughs> okay. Downside see what my skill does I'm going first, so I will not be able to use that. At least not yet. A monster face down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna set two speller traps. And I'll end my turn perfectly playing around Mech Knights. Yeah, there's plenty of those in here. Draw for turn duel. I'm gonna activate my skill Food Chain. Once per turn I can apply one of these. I can destroy a dino or reptile that I control and summon a dinosaur that's one level higher from my hand or deck. 
Or I can tribute summon a dinosaur monster by banishing two dino or reptiles from my grave instead of tributing. Still considered a tribute summon though. I'm going to start by using. Don't start with baby Sarasaurus. Normal summon my baby Oh my gosh. Oh, don't worry. It's not that bad. I don't have like over after. It's bad goodness. enough. Food chain effect. I'll destroy it and I get to summon a level three, which I don't even know if I actually have one. Hey boy, T. Is it one level higher? Yeah, one level higher. It has to be a level three monster. It's Gillosaurus. Whoop! <laughs> but that still means I can use my baby Sarasaurus' effect. Oh, yeah. If it's destroyed by a card effect, which I'm assuming that this is a card effect. I think that's how they rule these. I would assume that. I get to summon a level four lower dinosaur monster from my deck. Yep. Good old so, baby Sarah. Say hello to Black Velocity. What's that do? So if it attacks, it gains 400 during the damage step. But if it gets attacked, it loses 400 during it's the damage step. It's one of those. Yeah, it's a steamroid. All right, duelist, are you ready? No, because you got two monsters. I'll enter the battle phase, and I'm going to attack with Black Velocity. You it hit? goes up to 2200. Neospatian Grandma. Oh, dear. And when this bad boy battles at the start of damage step, it'll send itself and your Velocity back to our hands. Oh, fun. Whoop! Yay! Gillosaurus attack for 14. Hmm, do I? Directly. Do I want to just take that? Because I don't, I don't. You don't have a lot of life points. So. Yeah, but I will take it. 1,500, you say, right? 1,400. I can't tell who I am. You're, you'll be duelist, too. Okay. 1,400. I see, I see what you got. I see what you got going on over there. I'm going to normal summon my Neospatian Grandma. Okay. I'm going to enter battle. Battle enter. Grandma's going to attack Gilosaurus. So we're both returning? Returning to the hand. Okay. I end my turn. Awesome. I draw duelist. <laughs> Special summon my Gilosaurus. I can summon it from my hand, but if I summon it this way, then I have to activate this effect. You get to special summon a monster from your graveyard. Well, that's lame. You don't have <laughs> one. Next, I'm gonna normal summon my Dyna base. What is that? If my life points are lower than yours, I can special summon it from the hand, but they're not. So it's gonna normal summon it. During the main phase, I can fusion summon a fusion monster from my extra deck using this card I control and other monsters from my hand or field as material. So now, I'm going to fuse Dyna base and Black Velocity for Dyna Tank in attack mode. It gets attack equal to the original attack of the dinosaur monster used for its fusion summon, so 1800. Okay. And if you activate an effect that targets one card in the field, I can target another card in the field and re I can basically retarget things. You can my card. Yeah, and if this gets destroyed by your card, battle or card effect, I can summon a dinosaur from my graveyard. Okay. Let's enter battle phase, duo. Yeah. 1400 with Gilosaurus. Then 1800 with Dynatank. I'll hat you're forcing me to activate. Next! Okay, what's so that? So I'll special do? summon any number of uh, Neospatians or hero monsters, but negate their effects uh, from the hand or graveyard. I guess it'd be ideal if they were from the. So I'll summon my Neospatian Grandma. Its effects are negated. Oh, cool. Well, I'm going to attack it then, since yep. I can do that. Goodbye, Grandma. No effect. Your move. Draw for turn. I'll normal summon Card Trooper. Okay. And I'll activate its effect, declaring three. Then I'll send that many cards to the graveyard, and it'll gain 500 for each card sent. Not a problem. One, two, come on, send a monster. Three, not the right monster. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, I sent my three cards, so it's gaining 1,500. So it's at 1,900. That is somehow stronger than both my cards. I'll activate Generation Next. Yu so -Oh GX, as long as my life Generation points, Generation Next. As long as my life points are lower than yours, I can I can add or special summon a hero or Neospatian monster whose attack is less than or equal to the difference in our life points. Oh well, that's convenient because the difference is like 28, so you get anything. Yes. So I'll summon Elemental Hero Neo. I activate Limit Reverse. So I'll target a 1,000 or less attack monster in my graveyard and special summon it, my Grandma. And now, we're gonna contact fuse. Oh. I'm gonna shuffle my Neos and Grandma back into the deck and summon Elemental Hero Grand Neos. That does take Neos and, and Grandma. 
Then I'm activating Grand Neos' effect. Okay. I'm going to target your Dyna Tank and send it back to your hand. Well, I'm going to use Dyna Tank's ability, which lets me select a different appropriate target. And now it targets the new card. I think in this case, appropriate target means card I control because your card says- That I hope so. Right? Target one. One, one monster your opponent controls. So we're going to have Gilasaurus get returned instead. That's lame because it can just special summon. It can, yes. But I'll enter battle. Although summoning next time will actually be helpful for you. Card Trooper, attack Dynatank, because I've got 1,900. So I take 100 damage. <laughs> Dynatank is destroyed, but it does get to use its effect and summon back a dinosaur monster. Black Velocity. Oh, it can be in defense mode? Lame. Yeah, I gotta protect myself, duelist. The Neos, attack Black Velocity. Black Velocity is destroyed. And now, I'll end my turn, and my Grand Neos has to return back to Neo space. Yeah, straight back to Neo space. But that activates the effect of my straight out of Neo space. When one of my fusion monsters get, returns to the extra deck, I can special summon Neos from my deck. Okay, Duelist. My turn. I draw. Hmm. Well, thankfully for me, I'm going to use my food chain ability. I can tribute summon a dino monster by banishing two dinos or reptiles from the grave instead of tributing. What? Banish Baby Sarasaurus and Black Velocity. Tribute summon Ultimate Tyranno. Ah! And it can attack all your monsters once each. Ouch! <laughs> if I control an Ultimate Tyranno that can attack, what? then other monsters. Basically, other, my other monsters can't attack. I don't oh, know why okay. they. Oh, also, I'm gonna set a card face down. I forgot I don't have the main phase. Wow. Team. All right, enter battle phase. Ultimate Tyranno is going to attack your card trooper. All right, card trooper has 1,900 to your 3,000. It has 400. I thought it gained 500. Until the end of the turn. Right. Oh, that's game. Yeah, it's <laughs> like 2,600. <laughs> card trooper goes back down and attack. <laughs> the off chance I might get swept, I'm going to switch decks. All right, duelist, so uh, let me see. Heroes were supposed to carry me through the first round. They didn't, so now I'm worried. Because I don't know what to do with this deck. All right, at the start of the duel, I flip over Destructive Fate. And I flip over, flip over Major in Paleontology. So during my turn, whenever I toss a coin for the effect of a monster or a spell, once per turn for each card type, I can lose half my life points Woo! to declare the result instead. And then during the end phase of my third turn, this card gets flipped over. I also reshuffled my deck, by the way, on accident. I was just, as I was talking, Golly. so you can kind of do whatever. But anyway. So mine is pretty involved. It uses its own type of token. So once per turn, I can banish a card from my hand face down, then place a dig counter on this scale, max one. If a face up fossil fusion monster I control is destroyed by effect, I can place one dig counter on this car, on this scale. Once per turn, during your main phase, you can remove one dig counter from this scale to fusion summon one fossil fusion monster from your extra deck by banishing materials from either graveyard. Like really not off to a great start. Bring it on. I set two cards and I activate light barrier. Once per turn during my standby phase, I toss a coin. If the results tails, then the following effects are negated until my next standby phase. What are the following when effects? I summon a an Arcana Force monster, I can choose which effect to apply without tossing a coin. And if my Arcana Force monster destroys an opponent's monster in battle, I gain life points equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. Mm. I end my turn. All right, draw. I would like to actually see an Arcana Force monster, but maybe that'll happen next. This card face down. Set this card face down and end my turn. I draw. Oh my god. Well. Standby phase, toss coin. Heads. Heads. So I just get to keep these effects. Not that it matters, I don't have a monster I can summon and I'm just eating up my free turns of this. <laughs> uh, all right, your move. That's two end phases. <laughs> Draw. Let's set a monster face down and I'll end my turn. Draw, standby. You're gonna see a monster. Flip. Tails, these effects are gonna get negated, but let me decide if I want to keep. Oh yeah, cause you can use your destructive fate, can't you? I can. Sure, I'll have my life points. <laughs> this, is, this feels so awful. To so keep my effects. Okay. Normal summon, Arcana Force for the Emperor. Okay, what, what's that When about? it's summoned, I toss a coin. Uh, if it's heads, then all my Arcana Force monsters gain 500 attack. If it's tails, they all lose 500 attack. All right, so that makes a huge difference in how this goes. Inner battle. Attack. You hit, 
Pachycephalo. Oh, okay. You don't have any special, special summon monsters. Good. Well, it's 1900 attack. Your move, Duelist. I will draw. Oh, and I do. I did gain life equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. So I gained 1200. Ah, so you're not completely. In so order. I'm actually like I'm doing okay. I'm I'm 32. So I'm 3200. Got it. 3200 yeah, 3, life 3200 points. Life. All right. Well, I'm going to flip summon my Medusa worm. Oh boy. And on flip, I target a monster you controlled and I destroy it. I'll destroy your arcana. Hmm. You thought anyway, duelist. I did. Divine Wrath. Wow. When a monster effect is activated, discard a card, negate the activation, and destroy it. Uh, I'm going to discard my arcana force the world. Negate and destroy. Wow. Because fuck Medusa Worm. I fought hard to get this monster on the field. Well, I'm gonna have to use my major in paleontology. Okay. I'm going to banish a card from my hand face down. Okay. To put one token on my major in paleontology. So now, I can essentially use a fossil fusion. I'm going to few banish from my graveyard Medusa Worm and your Arcana Force 21. The world. To summon Fossil Dragon Skull Gaios. Because it took a rock monster and a level seven or higher monster in your graveyard. I can't believe that's what I decided to pitch. I could have pitched a different card. Yeah, and this guy big too. How big is Skull Gaios? 3,500. 3, oh my God. Before damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, I can switch the current attack and defense of that monster until the uh, end of the turn, or until the end of the damage step. If this card attacks a defense position monster, it inflicts piercing damage. If this fusion summon card battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage it inflicts is doubled. Awesome. I will. So that will just kill me. <laughs> enter battle. Battle enter duelist. Skull Gaios will attack your Arcana Force the Emperor. So it I'm will 19. switch your current attack and defense. Oh, yeah, because I didn't gain a defense with the effect. And it pierces anyway. I'm dead. And it deals double damage. Oh, my God, I'm dead. I don't believe in my friends anymore. All right, start of the duel. Flip up Destructive Fate. And straight out of Neo Space. Okay, I actually played Light Barrier on the wrong spot. I, this, is a, this, is a, this isn't a continuous spell. <laughs> <It's> a spell. <laughs> just, just, just pretend that didn't happen, Duelist. I will. Set. I'm gonna get cooked in the comments. They're gonna be like, well, fucking dumbass. Didn't know any of this. I'll end my turn. <laughs> okay. So I'll properly use Light Barrier in the field spells. That makes a lot of sense. That really does. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm gonna get to flipping. You only got cool. three turns. Activate Arcana Reading. Toss a coin, and if it's heads, I get to add a card from my deck to my hand that has a coin tossing effect. Except another copy of this card. If it's tails, you get to add one card from your deck to your hand. Ooh. But. If light barriers on the field, I get to choose the effect instead. So I'm just gonna So you're gonna add. let me search. Oh, you wish. I'm adding a card that involves a coin flip. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get Arcana Force 3, the Empress. Normal summon, Arcana Force 3, the Empress. And I'm gonna choose its effect without tossing a coin. Whenever you normal, or, normal summon or set a monster, I can special summon an Arcana Force monster from my hand. Ooh. I enter battle. Yes. Attack. You hit. Grand Mole! And its effect will activate to send us both to the hand. Your move, Duelist. Draw for turn! Now, I'll normal summon Elemental Hero Neos Alias. Awesome! It's a Gemini monster, so right now it's a normal monster. And I'll enter battle. Battle enter, Duelist. Alias, attack him for 1900. I forgot to divide both our life points by two. Oh, yeah. Now I take 1900. All right. I'll end my turn. I draw. Oh yeah, this has got one end phase so far. Okay, standby phase, I have to flip a coin. Heads, I can choose my effects, and if I destroy a monster in battle, you know what that means. Okay. Actually, I, I already forgot. Then I'll gain a life point sequence. Oh, that, that makes sense. sense. You know. The works. All right, I'm gonna set this card face down, and set... This is a very weird card, but I'll set this face down. Then I'm going to use my Arcana reading. I can banish it from my graveyard to immediately normal summon an Arcana Force monster. Oh, okay. 
Arcana Force 3, the Empress. And I get to pick its effect, so if you normal summon or set a monster, I can summon an Arcana Force monster from my hand. Haven't we already done this song and dance? Pretty much, but this time the field's gonna be a little different. Here, move, okay. Duelist. I'll draw for turn! So if I normal summon, you get the special summon one? Yes. Alias, attack the Empress. Darn, I wanted to scare you into maybe doing something, but I just take 600 damage. And that's it, I gotta end my turn. I draw. Oh, darn. Oh yeah, this will be my last turn with my destructive fate. Better make some use of it. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but I'm gonna set a card. Your move, Duelist. Wow, draw for turn. Oh yeah, I forgot to flip for this. Okay, it's heads, anyway. I'll activate Neo Space. Oh, we both get field spells. So this will allow my Neos, my Neos fusions to actually stay on the board. Will that come up? Not necessarily, but it was an interesting thought. I will normal summon Neospatian Grandmore. Hmm, okay, duels. And I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Grandmore will attack your face down. This sucks. <laughs> it's return to hand. Yep, they get both get sent oh, yeah, to hand. Oh yeah, it was uh, Arcane, of course, the fool. Who knows? I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna read it. Alias, attack for 1900 and end this duel. <laughs> I didn't get to do anything. <laughs> Start of the duel, I flip up Dino Brain Immunity. And I flip up Dig Site Inspection. So, the battle positions of my dinosaurs can't be changed by trap cards. I don't know if you even do that. And level 7 or higher dino monsters can't be targeted by spell cards. Okay, I, mean, I don't know that you even do that. I don't even that, know if I but... do that. But I see why this skill exists, just not for this format. And dig side inspection, so during the draw phase, before I draw, I can excavate the top part of my deck and place it on top or bottom of my deck. And then after I've placed a second card to the bottom of the deck using this skill, flip it over. So essentially, I can use it twice. So in you a can duel. scry. I can scry. Ooh, look at you using your magic terminology. I learned. Okay, anyways, your move. All right, four cards, let's see what I got. Yikes, I have cards. Normal summon. Shell Knight. Hmm. And on normal summon, I can change its battle position. Awesome. And then I get to inc inflict 500 damage to you. What? Yo. Just because? Just because, that's what he does. Okay. When he's sent to the graveyard by card effect or destroyed by battle, I can add a level eight rock monster from deck to hand. That's a really good card. Okay. For the rest of the turn, you cannot activate cards or the effects of cards with the same name as that card. Okay, if that's if I did a search, I got you. Okay. So I got my guy, my guy is here. I'm gonna set a Speller Trap face down and end my turn. Draw. Special summon my Gilosaurus. Normal summon, Black Velocity. Name. These are literally the same cards from last time. I set two cards face down. Black Velocity attack his Shell Knight. That will kill. During the damage step, it's gonna gain 400. Which is enough to pass. Shell Knight's control by battle and activates effect to add a level eight rock. A rock. I'll add my Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. Oh, they put that in there? That's a pretty yep, good one. That's a, yeah, sure. Ooh, that's a I mean, in Speed Duel, I'm sure it's okay. Okay. Gilosaurus attack for 14. 14, I'll take it. All right. So, dig side inspection. Oh yeah, scry. Before I draw, I'm gonna look at the top card. Mm, I'll mm. place this card on the bottom of my deck. And now I'll draw. All right, let's normal summon. Weathering Soldier. It's a Why big are your rock guy. so huge? Yeah, well, he's 2,000 attack, but yeah. <laughs> during the end phase, he loses 600 attack. Okay. So. And still, he gets to like be big. He is big, and I'm gonna use all of that bigness. Enter battle. Battle enter. Weathering Soldier attack Black Velocity. 2K. Fine, Duelist. My Black Velocity also loses 400, so it's at 14, so I take six. Or, nice. Yeah, six. Jeez. I'll move to end phase, my weathering soldier, well, it weathers, so now it's at 1400. Thank you. It's even with your Gila. I draw a duelist. I tribute Gilosaurus. Oh. For Sauropod Brachion. I can tribute summon it by tributing just one dinosaur monster. So I got 1500. It does, but I can flip it to face down defense position and flip everything else, or when it gets flipped face up, it flips everything else to face down defense position. Aha! It's not really that great. I'm gonna just attack Weathering Soldier. I do have 100 less. You will destroy my soldier, but that'll activate its effect. It will add a fossil fusion or a monster that mentions it from my deck to the hand. Yeah. All right, time to read. I'll use my dig site inspection. 
and now I have to flip my inspection face down, never to be seen again. Right. It's gonna be impossible to win with this deck. Draw! Let's set a monster face down and end my turn. Draw duelist. I'll enter battle. Star Pod's gonna attack your face down monster. You hit Flint Cragger. It actually doesn't do anything in this situation. Oh, but I take 100, it's got 1600 defense. Oh, well, I forgot you're small. Oh, yeah, Flint Cragger lives. Draw for turn, because I can't use that anymore. All right. That matters. I'm gonna activate my Mystical Space Typhoon. No fair. Targeting your face down here. You destroyed my Typhoon. That's useless. What does that do? It targets a face up spell or trap in the field and oh, destroys okay, that it. One coming up. If you have two or more f spells and traps and I control no spells and traps, I can use it for my hand. Oh, okay. Well, it was face down anyway. So, it's something. It is what it is. It is what it was. I will set a monster face down. Set a spell or trap face down and end my turn. Normal summon Animador and Archosaur. Okay, all right. Here we go. Normal summon, I can destroy a dinosaur monster in my hand or field and then add a reptile, sea serpent, or winged beast monster with the same original level. Or an evolution pill spell card. So I'm going to destroy Tyranno Infinity and then see if I actually have something that I can get. Big evolution pill. Hey! Who thought it was a good idea to give dinosaurs steroids? This. They really did just like hand them some, just put some pills on the ground. Hey guys, you want some jimmies? All right, duelist. Enter battle and attack with Sauropod Brachion. You hit my Medusa worm. No one gets stuck when it's flip summoned. Your move, duelist. Draw for turn. All right. Do we just, I guess we just do it? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do the thing. There's two rock monsters from my graveyard. I'll banish my Medusa Worm and my Weathering Soldier. Special summon Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. What the frick? So yeah, uh, once during the standby phase, I have to banish a rock monster, or I have to uh, what's that? I have to banish a rock monster, or send this card to the graveyard. And then if it battles an opponent's monster, that monster's attack and defense become halved during damage calculation only. Well, no. Ooh, that sucks. Be a big one. But I'm not done with you just yet, my friend. You're not done with me. I'm going to use my Flint Cragger's ability. What? So I can send this card from the field to the GY, inflict 500 to you. Then, well, I don't have Fossil Fusion. Is it an optional thing? So then if... Yeah, so you can still use it. Yeah, I can still use it. So I'm gonna send it to deal 500. I thought I could do more, but I cannot. And now, I'll normal summon Fossil Tusker. Oh, what the heck? So if this destroys a monster, an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, it only inflicts 400 damage to you. This is gonna hurt. Gaia Plate, attack his sauropo sa sauropod. Activate Paleozoic Canadian. See, I wish I would have MSC that. Target a face up monster and change it to face down defense position. No. Well, Fossil Tusker will attack your this I'll attack your sauropod. Okay, 1800. I'll take, okay, I was gonna say, if you attacked this, I would be at 100. All right, well, I'll just take 300 and then let's just do. An extra 400. So I take 700? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ah, oh, Jesus. I will end my turn. I draw. God, that sucks. Normal summon, Dyna base. Oh, wow. Fusion summon. Actually, I guess I can, you know what? Special summon Dyna base. Since my life points are lower anyway, I might as well. No, I don't. Set and pass. <laughs> There we go. Your move. All right, draw for turn. Oh wow, because you flipped him face down, I don't have to worry about paying his like, maintenance costs. Yeah, you know, I think I should have done the fusion. Okay, you know what, I'm doing the fusion. You know, and I have a reason. All right, there, that's my turn. So that I can't target it, or? Yeah, in case you decide to target. All right. I'll flip summon Gaia Plate, the Earth Giant. It's back. Yay. And we bought ourselves a turn, because we only have the two the two rocks and graves to vanish. I'll enter battle. Fossil Tusker has 1800. It's going to attack your face down. You attacked Baby Sarasaurus. It will deal 400 damage. Rude. Now, Gaia Plate the Earth Giant attack Dynatank. Their damage calculation, calculation are cut in half. It doesn't make a difference, but still. It's destroyed, but that means I can use its effect. This was the real play all along. Special summon Sauropod Brachion. No way! That's right. Maybe this will save me. It won't. I have to end my turn there. I draw. This sure would have been great one turn ago. Nah, he's bouncing back, yeah. Set one card face down. Activate Sauropod Brachion's effect. 
You move to West. Draw for turn. All right. Gaia plate. I have to banish a rock. And this card's useless because I can't do the thing. That, that's so lame. That is so lame. Enter battle. Battle enter. Gaia plate. Attack is phased down. Sauropod Brachion. No, your effect I think halves me anyway. So it's... yes, during damage calculation, you are have attack and defense is half. Okay. So normally he does double the battle damage to you if you take any, but since he's halved. And now Fossil Tusker. End this dude. You duel. wish. Survival instinct. I'm oh. gonna survive. What's that? Banish any number of dino monsters from my grave. Gain 400 life points for each dinosaur monster banished. Activated. What is this card here for? One, I guess for now. Two. This is why it's here. Three, four, five. See, this is supposed to be great because I could use Tyranno Infinity and give it like a bunch of attack. Uh. So if there is some Monster Reborn type card in here that I'm unaware of, I'm going to keep it in my grave. But I'll banish these and gain 2,000. Not bad. Now I take 18. <laughs> I'm at 1400 is the point. Okay, I'm at 1400. All right. So that with that, I have to end my turn. I draw. I scoop. I drew a, a dark Triceratops that I, I couldn't summon. I win! All right. So, the final duel. That's right. This will be the end of the speed duel. Uh, you can go first. I'm so sick of having to go first. <laughs> Well, you know. All right, I'll start by normal summoning my, oh yeah, I gotta activate this at the start of the duel, Wise Man Neos. So essentially my elemental hero Neos and any fusion monster that mentions him, uh, they gain the Neos Wise Man effect of you taking the battle damage that we dealt for battles with them. Okay, gotcha. Or really it inflicts, the, it inflicts damage equal to half that monster's attack. Close enough, I activate Neospatian Aqua Dolphin. Okay. And I'll activate my Aqua Dolphin's effect. I'll discard a card from my hand to Are look you at really your hand. Do this? And this is so risky. I'm looking for a monster that has less than 600 attack. Do you really think this is gonna work? I don't know. Let's find out. Arcana seven. Force seven the Chariot. Arcana Force four the Emperor. By order of the Emperor. And Arcana Force EX the Light Ruler. All right, those were all bigger than 600. So I will. Yes. Yeah, so I, nothing happens. I oh no! Take I take damage. 500. I take yeah. 500. Oh yeah, cut us in half. Yeah. Okay, duelist. All right. And then I'll activate Oversoul. I'll oh, target clever. the elemental hero normal monster and special summon it to my field. Clever duelist, I see. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Mm -hmm. And my turn, I'll end, I'll end it. I draw. Normal summon Arcana Force for the Emperor. Okay. I flip a coin, if it's heads, all my monsters gain 500, if it's tails, they lose it. There we right, go. Here we go. Heads! Yes. He's equal with my alias. So now it's 1900. I set one card face down and I attack your Aqua Dolphin. That is fair. For 13. Goodbye, my friend. Here, move. I will draw. I will Gemini summon my alias. Ah, so he's Neos now. That's right. Oh, so that actually works with wise man Neos now. That's right. Oh, enter battle. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Neos alias, attack your arcana. Okay. And I'll activate his new ability. Before a damage calculation, I will inflict half your monster's attack to you. My original attack. It's half attack. your original attack. So I take yeah. 700. And now we're just both destroyed. Now we're both destroyed, yeah. Bye, my turn. I draw. Normal summon, arcana force seven, the chariot. Okay. If I get heads, then when I destroy a monster in battle, I can summon it to my field. Tails, you get control of this card. Why is it like that? All right, let's see. Heads! Okay, if I attack one of your monsters, I can, okay. Attack for 17. Gotta take it. Your move. All right, draw! Set a card and end my turn. <laughs> draw. Wow, this is the, the, the useful thing. I mean, if I lose this, it won't be another game. I'm gonna How can you fun. lose? Arcana reading. I'll flip a coin. If it's heads, I get an Arcana Force monster. If it's tails, you get to add anything you want. You've won every coin flip. You're just gonna keep winning. See? Heads. Three coin flips in a row, y'all. This is like the opposite of my Barrel Dragon problem. Yeah. I get Arcana Force 3, the Empress. Normal summon, Arcana Force 3, the Empress. I'll attack you directly. Don't you have to use her effect? Oh yeah, I forgot. Flip coin. <laughs> Tails! Good if you happens. normal summon or set a monster, I have to send a card from my hand to grave. That's a weird effect. Okay. Attack for 13. I activate! What? Hero Blast! I'll target an element to hero normal monster in my graveyard and add it to my hand. I'll get my alias. And then, 
if you have a monster with less than or equal to its attack, I'll destroy that monster. I'll destroy your... He gained, didn't he? Uh, no. He didn't? Oh, okay. We'll destroy your chariot. I still get to attack you. Yeah, yeah you do. Attack. Yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so. Oh, I didn't know this was in stack. Is that a good thing? Or fine? Fossil dig! Hey! You didn't I got know a level fossil six or lower dinosaur monster. Why wasn't that in my fossil deck? It says fossil dig. Yeah, well. Name those four monsters or it doesn't resolve. Aizu, Doitsu, Soitsu, and I don't remember the third one. Oh, doesn't resolve, and I take it. Wow! <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm just gonna get Black Velocity, I guess. Wait, which one is which? If you, if you can't- Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Aitsu, Doitsu, Koitsu, and Soitsu. I'm pretty sure I if got it right. If that's true, then- I'm pretty sure Someone I let us know right. if you got that right. I, I don't think. Jurassic World. Black Velocity. Pass. Alright, draw for turn. Let's Normal Summon. Elemental Hero, Neos Alias, who is the most consistent card in this deck. He is. I'll enter battle. Battle entered. Alias is attacking your Velocity. Oh, fine. So he loses 400, so he goes down to 17 now. I take two. I should have just kept him in my hand. All right, I'll end my turn. I draw for mine. Oh, Jesus, I should have kept him in my hand. Your move. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is flipped over. It doesn't change anything. Wow. Gemini summon my Alias. Okay. So now it's just Neos. Just middle. Middle Neos. A little Neos. I'll activate my Neo space. It's not really useful right now, but it might come up. It might come in handy later. Fine. Oh, actually, no. Because his name is Elemental Hero Neos now, he actually gains a 500 from Neo space. Oh, that freaking sucks. So now it's 2400, just like Neo. Or oh, it's a little bit lower. It's 25. Enter battle. Battle entered. Swings for 24. All right, this game's almost over. I'll end my turn. I draw. <laughs> ah! That's crazy, because now with the Wise Man Neos effect, if you attack my Neos alias, you'll probably just get burned out for game. Might just happen. I totally screwed this up. <laughs> okay, I could have done something. Totally botched this. It's okay, I botched I botched the last game myself. Here, you promise to give me one turn. I can't do that. Give me one turn. I can't do just that. Just allow me a turn. Oh, I'm gonna turn. I'll you want pay me to you give back you later. A homie draw? I'll pay you back later. <laughs> <laughs> no, because you don't do these types of deals. You, if you get the chance to beat me, you'll just beat me. Maybe. You're allowed to. You can. You can cash in on it later in the duel. I don't. I don't trust that. You know what? Give me. Get. Give me your deck. Wait, what? If you, if I give you a turn, I want your deck. Wait, what's that mean? I, for the oh, rest of the duel, your deck is mine. Well, I can't have to draw next okay, turn. Okay, then I'll take your hand. <laughs> I have to use my hand to play. Normal summon Tyranno Infinity. And I activate Big Evolution Pill. So I have to tribute a dinosaur to activate this. And it stays in the field for three turns. I can normal summon level five or higher dinos without tributing. That's all your move. Okay. Draw for so turn. Just, you just have to just let me live one turn. So I just have to let you. Yeah, you can get me down to like a hundred. I just want I just need to pull this off. I'm going to activate Aqua Dolphin's effect. <laughs> okay. Let's discard. Oh, he's 24, isn't he? That's right. Discard Galaxy Cyclone. Let's see that hand of yours. Okay, it's Ultimate Tyranno. Ah! So you take five. So that's what you, that's what you're gonna summon, huh? That's what yeah, you're, that's next what turn we're I was doing. like, okay, I'm gonna summon. That's what we're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, shuffle these two right into the deck. Which one is it? Marine Neos or Aqua Neos? It's Aqua Neos. Oh boy. What's he do? So once per turn, I can discard a card, then destroy a random card in your hand. You monster! So I will discard my dandelion to destroy a random card in your hand. There we go. Getting that out of here. Rude! And now the effect of my dandelion, because it got sent to the graveyard, it'll special summon two fluff tokens. All right, and as per our agreement, I will pass turn. Okay, well, during the end phase, I'll use Typhoon on your Neo space. Oh, you jerk! Yeah, so it gets destroyed. And that means Aqua Neos can't stay on the field. Goodbye, Aqua Neos. I draw. I set and pass. All right. Since you wouldn't draw let me turn. actually summon my monster. I, you said all I had to do is let you live. That's, those were yeah, your that's words. Yeah, that's true. You followed the those agreement. Those were your words. You did follow the agreement. And, but now I can make use of my dandelion. I'm going to tribute both these tokens. Oh, God. For Elemental Hero Neos. No fair. <laughs> I'll set a card face down. 
and I'll enter battle. Battle entered, duelist. Neos, attack! You would have beaten me with that attack, but I have survival instinct. Oh, this card again. Banish these three dinosaurs, gain 12. Now I take 25. I'm at 100. All right. And uh, this is your last turn of, of my, pit pill, right? This will be my... First one, second, yeah, this will be my last turn of it. Got it. And I'll end my turn. Draw. <laughs> Set. <laughs> Pass. Draw. I'll set a card, and Neos, and this dude. Paleozoic Canadia, switch it. Oh my gosh, I'm now. struggling. I'll end my turn. Draw. Okay, your move. Draw. I'll flip summon my elemental hero, Neos. <laughs> I don't have to say his And name. now, I'll activate Ian Show. Oh, come on. I'm gonna send my Neos <laughs> to the graveyard so I can special summon a, a Neospatian monster. I'll, I'll special summon Dark Panther. Okay. That's not all, because I'll activate Oversoul to special summon a normal elemental hero monster from my graveyard. Who we'll contact Fuse by Jesus shuffling our monsters Christ. back into the deck and summoning elemental hero Dark Neos. Now, Dark Me Neos, right? Yep, attack him directly. <sighs> we did it. We did it, guys. We did it. Woo! Let us know what you guys thought about uh, midterm destruction. If you live in Europe, let us know how jealous you are, apparently. I actually was on Reddit very recently. Someone was talking about speed duels, how they have a speed duels locals in Europe and they're all they're still using this thing. I mean, I don't blame them. If the <laughs> gonna forsake you anyway, then just say, fuck it, do what you want. Yeah, do what you want, guys. So you heard it from us for, from you heard it from us first. Do what the fuck you want. Yeah, just play play the cards. I mean whatever. <laughs> Konami can't tell you what to do. Alright. Cool, I hope you like you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like and uh, let us know what you thought of Speed Turn GX Midterm Destruction. We'll see you in the next video. Pass turn.